My name is H.A. Goodman, and I'm an author, columnist, and journalist. To support this YouTube channel, go to my Patreon link below, subscribe to this channel, check out my books, Debunking the Trump-Russia Myth, but her top secret emails, and my other books below in the description section. The Daily Beast is a... It's unfortunate because I know some... Actually, I know a journalist at the Daily Beast who's a very good person. Otherwise, he just actually he hasn't been there a very long time. Uh, he was from the Huffington Post. Um, he is a very good person. Otherwise, the Daily Beast is trash. It is a neocon paper, and they ran a hit piece on me uh, two years ago, or a year, and a year and a half ago, simply because I was a Bernie Sanders supporter, full of nonsense and full, full of fake news within that uh, article, by the way, against me. Anyway, now... They're going against the great Julian Assange, who is a hero in my view, and in the uh, minds of millions of people around the country. I mean, around the country and around the world. This is WikiLeaks. Daily Beast, Chelsea Clinton on its board, doubles down on its brazen. So they're not going after Assange, but they're, they're actually... They wrote... Well, they kind of are. Julian Assange blasts neocon Daily Beast, mangles facts. No, he doesn't. I'll explain why. Daily Beast, Chelsea Clinton on its board, doubles down on its brazen anti-Catalan propaganda, mangling even further a non-peer-reviewed study, quote-unquote, by Javier Lissaca, former spokesman for the Spanish government, undeclared, of course. So it's a non-peer-reviewed study, and it's by the study was by a former spokesman for the Spanish government. So obviously, it's very biased. Obviously, it's trying to... Obviously, when you when Spain does not want Catalonia to uh, secede or to have independence, they're going to try to piggyback or uh, blame independence or talk about independence on Russia, just like we have blamed in our country Clinton's $1.2 billion loss to Russia. Well, we have blamed Russia for that loss, which is absolutely ridiculous. Russia had nothing to do with Clinton losing, with Clinton's FBI criminal investigation, where she was too stupid to indict, with Clinton um, never even visiting Wisconsin and losing Wisconsin. So, but then they go after, they say, Julian Assange blasts neocon Daily Beast, mangles facts. So... Where was this? Okay. Um, Julian Assange blasts Neocon Daily Beast. Well, it, it is a Neocon paper. You don't see them talking about Libya. You don't see them talking about Iraq or Afghanistan. You don't see them talking about anything to do with war. Daily Beast is said to be on the left, but they don't really care about war and foreign policy. They might as well be the National Review or um, any other uh, paper on the right. So Assange is right about that, especially when you have uh, Robert Kagan and others advising Hillary Clinton and Chelsea Clinton retweeting. Not just retweeting because, you know, it's just a retweet. Retweeting because um, she actually believes in the foreign policy um, of the Weekly Standard editor. But I'll read you this. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange on Tuesday attacked the Daily Beast over a story documenting how Venezuela and Russia teamed up to push pro catalan fake news, tweeting, quote, how to get your country's fake news into the U.S., just say, um, just say Russia. Example from the Neocon Daily Beast, a brazenly false allegation Left claiming the study right shows 97% of tweeters about Catalonia came from Russia and Venezuela. Study states the opposite. But in fact, the study found, this is the Daily Beast, as the Daily Beast reported, that just 3% of social media messages about Catalonia at the height of the separatist conflict were posted by real profiles. And its author concluded that Russian, Russian media sites had used bots to invade digital conversation about regional political cri uh, crisis in Spain. But why would... Nobody knows why Vladimir Putin or Russia would want Catalonia to separate from Spain. That's the issue. That's the issue. 
You don't, you don't ever, you blame the country, but you don't explain why, Daily Beast. You utilize the study, but you don't explain why, um, e even if it were true, why Russian trolls would want Catalonia to separate from Spain. As if uh, the people of, of Catalonia didn't have their own aspirations. As if people throughout the planet didn't, weren't interested in perhaps seeing Catalonia independent. The study is a non-peer-reviewed non study by a spokesman for the Spanish government. So that's ob it's obvious they're going to push um, a narrative that coincides directly with the Spanish government's narrative. Give me your thoughts below. It's unbelievable, too, because you would think, you would think a liberal paper would be on the side of the people of Catalonia. So Assange was right about all of this, so was WikiLeaks. Give me your thoughts below. Thank you so much for listening.